Hi, Mitch Strobel here with Team Hunting Life. This weekend we're in southern Indiana with John Day chasing after some Hoosier gobblers. John and Garrett Day down in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, came down here, it's Friday afternoon, got out of class at 2.30, came down and hunted with them, and uh, I mean, within a half hour that we set up, we had this bird coming in, happened exactly like it was supposed to. I sent out a few calls, had a response, maybe one or two responses out of him, and then he showed up. We were getting worried, then he poked right around the corner and uh, sent out another call or two, and he came right in, just how he's supposed to, and uh, Man, we're both pretty, we're all three of us pretty shaken up right now. It was, <laughs> that was a crazy hunt. It was fun, and uh, we actually had three birds going. We had one about 300 yards away um, ahead of us, and uh, you never know, he may have came in too. But um, they were definitely vocal tonight, and uh, John, how you feeling right about now? I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, this is like a second life for me. Uh, since my working accident, I ain't, well, I was told I was never gonna walk again or do what I love to do. But by the grace of God and my family, I was able to put that behind me and come out here and get a hunt. And I, I love the fact that we got a bird. happy right now uh, I'm right there with you yeah, I, I can't hardly even talk I'm so happy that's good I'm glad I could be here for this man um, I'd like to thank Brian John's buddy Brian yeah he, uh, you know he gave me the call say hey I got this guy if you want to go film him and, and it, it's a good weekend for me to get off the concrete jungle <laughs> of campus and just get out into the woods and couldn't have gone any better we're stoked right now yeah so. Yeah, I have to thank Brian too, Brian Pines, because without him, I mean, none of this would have been possible. I would have been stuck at home because I, I can't drive anywhere, so me getting out here is, you know, something awesome for me. Cool. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hope your season's going well, and thanks for watching, John. Pleasure. Yep. Thank you for Garrett, bringing thanks me. Thanks for coming, man. It's memories like this that literally last a lifetime. Not only did I witness John shooting a four-bearded turkey, but more importantly, I learned about his story and I made a new hunting buddy for the upcoming turkey season. Now here's John and his family who were kind enough to sit down and share John's very inspirational story. Hi. Uh, well, if you guys didn't know, my name is John Day. And about... Four years ago, I had a working accident. I had an 8,000 pound limestone slab of rock fall on me, and a co worker of mine instantly.
killing my coworker of mine. But luckily they were able to get me out and pull me out from underneath it and took me to the hospital where I spent how long? Three months. Almost three months. Three months in the hospital. And then I woke up one day and I was in rehab hospital and I was always like what am I doing here? Where am I at? And the nurse came in there and told me where I was at and told me I could go out and speak to my wife and tell me what I was doing there. So I went out and talked to her. She told me what happened to me and everything. So, so I, I mean, I love that rehab hospital. The name of it was I guess my dog 